Look really hot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little scarf from earlier, y'all. Today, y'all, we're making some salmon and crab spinach dip. Baby, it's so good with the homemade pita chips. Let's get into it. Ooh, I'm going to Kimmy's. You know she got plenty. Plenty food for me to eat. Mommy, why are you making the cake? Now, I don't know about y'all, but I love me some crab. I love me some salmon. And I love me some spinach. So I put all this together. These are your ingredients. And baby, we're about to see how this thing is going. Now, if you're a salmon skin lover, you know how to do this part. But I don't think salmon skin would go so good in a dip. So I took my salmon skin off. This little hand motion under the skin between the salmon, it gets it off clean every single time. If you know, you know. After that, I took some chunks out of it because I'm not using that whole slab of salmon. I definitely made me some salmon pasta later on that night. So first, I got me some grapeseed oil and some butter in the pan. I'm going to saute this spinach up. Sure, I did use a whole lot of spinach, but baby, it shrank up like my natural hair, and it was gone in about five minutes. But use as much spinach as your heart desires. We're going to get all the moisture out of the spinach and add a little bit of salt to it, and then we're going to let it drain it in a paper towel. Now, I know real chefs throw it in an ice bath after it finished cooking so it can stop cooking process, but I ain't do all that. So I'm pretty sure mine's cooked a little bit more. And plus, we're putting all this in the oven anyway, so it's going to cook some more. But get a quick little sear on them and then throw them in a paper towel, a lot of paper towels. Press it down, try to get all that moisture out, and then we're going to work on the salmon next. So what I love about this dish is this, there's no real way to make any of this stuff. So with the salmon, I got a little garlic paste in the same pan that I cooked the spinach in, got it melted all down, and then I added that salmon slab right up in there. Flipped it over, and once it got a little bit hot on both sides, I started breaking it up with a wooden spoon. There's, you don't have to sear it and none of that stuff. And I know you're thinking, where the seasoning at? Right here. Mr. Make It Happen AP seasoning and some of that Tony's go a long way. Season it up real good and cook it down completely. Yes, it's going in the oven, but still cook that salmon down completely before we put it into a bowl and let it sit and chill while we work on the rest of the stuff. Now, I wonder if this qualifies for a same pan dish meal because I added that same pan. I put some butter in there, some more garlic paste, and I got a little bit of flour to make like kind of a roux real quick because we're going to make a cheese sauce. And baby, we losing lots of cheese, so beware. But I got that roux started, cooked that flour down. Flour is raw. You're not supposed to eat it raw. You can get sick. So cook that flour down for a few minutes and come in with that heavy cream. If you lactose, baby, I'm sorry. I don't know how y'all do it. I couldn't be lactose. I'm scared one day I might be lactose, and I'm probably still going to be drinking milk and eating cheese, but that's our business because we grown. So I added some whole milk as well because it kind of gives it a little creamier texture than just having heavy cream in it. So heavy cream and whole milk does make half a half. Now it's time for my favorite part, the cheeses. I added Gruyere cheese, which is perfect for any kind of dip. I added in some mozzarella cheese because duh and then i added in some parmesan cheese y'all wonder why my arms are so fit barely it's because i shred my own cheeses yes you could buy the pre-shred one one it costs more so why would you do that two i like shredding myself the creaminess of the cheese when you shred it yourself is 10 times better than buying it in the bag or buying it pre-shredded once i got that cheese melted all up in that cream sauce i went ahead and added my spinach in there and look like a little bit, but trust me, it was broken up together. It, it's a lot. It's a lot. Okay, just go ahead and add it in there. Mix it up really, really well. Keep on mixing. Then we'll come in with our salmon. We're going to mix again. Before we add any lump crab to this, we're going to mix that salmon in as well because we want the lump crab to stay lumpy. Like who? Like me. Now, I know y'all wondering again, where is the seasoning? Maybe put that cheese in there first and that seasoned salmon, then taste test it, and then add seasonings. Now, nutmeg, I learned that from Bahama Breeze when I had that spinach artichoke dip, and it was so good. And they said their secret ingredient is nutmeg. It gives it just a little bit of flavor that's not too much, but it's amazing. And then towards the end, add in your little crab, fold it in gently, and then we're going to get ready to add a little bit of cheese because I want it to be a little bit thicker. You don't have to do this part if you don't want to, but I did because I'm grown. Now get you an oven safe dish and pour that salmon dip in there. Isn't that just gorgeous? You can honestly just eat it straight like that. But you already know what I'm going to do, right? You know that's right. Yes, top it with some mo cheese. And I mean, I topped it with a lot. Because, baby, you know I need that cheese pull. You know I need that cheese pull. Top it with some mo cheese and then put it in the oven on 425. Just until the cheese gets nice, brown, and bubbly like who? Like me. 
Now, while it's in there, Starbucks break. I get me a strawberry acai refresher with lemonade, no inclusions, baby. It keep me on my toes. Now, for these pita chips, while the cheese is bubbling, we're going to go ahead and slice up some pita rounds into triangles. Trust me, it's way better than buying the chips already made. It's like a nice, thick, but crunchy on the outside, soft on the inside texture. And it goes perfect with a salmon dip, spinach dip, whatever kind of dip that you like to eat. Trust me, I've been doing this for years. It goes so well with it. Now, once you get all of them into a nice, cute triangle, go ahead and give you a little bit of grapeseed oil and some salt and toss it up. You don't have to do what I'm doing next because I actually laid each one individually flat down. I did that more so for the YouTube look because it has to look good for YouTube. If you click on my video, you're going to want to see why I look like that. But you do not have to do that part at all. I did it for so I can get the brown texture on top and have the little Peter Round showing. You don't have to do that part though. Put it in the same oven with the spinach dip to make it. That's pretty nice and quick, pretty much. Um, and once you get that, after a few minutes, it should look nice, brown, and beautiful. And they should get done at around the same time. And you know what I'm going to say, baby. And you got, boom, spinach, salmon, and crab dip. Now, go ahead and top with a little bit of parsley because we fancy, right? This, this is perfect for a game night, movie night. It don't matter what you got going on. Just make it for yourself, baby. Look at this cheese pull. Baby, the cheese was cheese pulling. Oh, my God. Oh my god. Oh my god. Y'all. Alright, bye. If you love this video, be sure to subscribe for more videos like this and watch these because baby, you might need it. Bye.